We have all heard about the divorce Joe Jonas and Sophie Turner have been going through. Well today, we're gonna dive deep into the recent divorce between Joe Jonas and Sophie Turner. It's fascinating how hindsight can reveal moments in their relationship that hinted at underlying issues. With new information surfacing daily, the puzzle pieces are slowly coming together. So let's get started as we count down top 10 toxic moments from Joe Jonas and Sophie Turner's relationship. At number 10, we have Joe pressuring Sophie to attend industry events. It should be obvious if your partner expresses how they don't want to go somewhere, maybe don't force them to go. Well, according to multiple sources, according to multiple sources, Joe was pressuring Sophie to attend these industry events with him and even talked to other people, expressing how annoyed he was when she didn't attend. Sophie sometimes would give in and go to these events with Joe. However, she allegedly also expressed discomfort as she did not want to be seen in public and further be photographed. And if you already think Joe is crossing boundaries, you are absolutely right. But wait. There's even more. Joe allegedly did all of this after his wife gave birth to their second child together back in 2022. Of course, Sophie probably just wanted to recover from childbirth, plus we all know how harsh the media can be, especially when it comes to appearances of women. If Joe was a good husband, not only would he have been supportive and understanding with Sophie's decision to stay at home, but he would also not be telling other people how he is frustrated with her not leaving the house. I mean, it's nobody's business but their own, and honestly, Sophie has every right to do whatever she wants. At the end of the day, Joe did call her a homebody and he was a social butterfly, so let her just be happy and enjoy her time at home. For number 9, we have Joe's alleged sexism and misogyny. After all the news of the divorce came out, it has been pretty clear speculations jump from one side to the other. However, many believe Joe actually has a past when it comes to flipping his problems and issues, turning the narrative onto the women in the relationship. In the past, Joe has always compared and contrasted how social he was and how Sophie may not be as outgoing as him as we said it before. So why is he now trying to make it seem like it's a bad thing Sophie's enjoying her time partying with her friends? I understand they have kids together now, but I'm sure if Joe was partying with his friends it wouldn't be seen as a big deal. Stereotypically, women stay at home while men go out and it seems like Joe can't get out of this 18th century's mindset. If he wanted Sophie to go out and leave the house more often, wouldn't this not bother him? Well, it seems like Joe has a tendency to flip things onto others and not treat them with respect. I mean, he did break up with Taylor Swift through a 27 second voicemail. Yup, big yikes. Well now it seems like he is continuing his track record once again. And for our number 8 spot, we have Joe not being supportive towards Sophie after the birth of their second child. Apparently, shortly after the birth of their second daughter back in 2022, Joe was ignorant and completely lacked emotional support towards his wife. Sophie did not want to leave the house as she was recovering from literally giving birth to his child. She also did not want to be photographed right after 9 long months which is totally understandable considering how public their lives are. And I'm sure as soon as Turner puts a foot out the door, many photos would instantly be taken of her because of the paparazzi. She has even addressed her mental health struggles in the past and a big issue she found was being on camera at the age of 14 as the whole world picks her apart. And I'm sure it's still tough for Sophie to show up to any public appearance. In the past, this former couple has talked about how Joe and Sophie's relationship building as Joe apparently helped Sophie see herself for the true beauty she is. If Joe knew all the struggles Sophie has dealt with in the past, especially due to the judgement of her appearance, him not being supportive for her and her boundaries, especially right after birth is just crazy to me. For number 7, we have Joe's horrible PR stunt. Oh god, although this happened recently after the couple called it splits, this PR stunt just further highlighted toxicity city from Jonas, which is why it had to be included in our top 10. If you haven't heard, Joe's first public appearance since the news about his divorce was with his two daughters and nanny as they were photographed on a patio while they seemed to be enjoying lunch. They not only sat outside, but Joe was also sitting facing the paparazzi, which seems a little bit interesting. The worst part is these photos were the first photographed, were the first photos of their two daughters, the pair welcomed back in 2022 and 2020. Sophie, being a good and responsible mother, decided she didn't want her girls in the public eye in order to protect them from the media and for privacy reasons. Joe completely disregarded that and decided to use his daughters as a way to portray himself as a single, loving father of his two kids. Well, the internet quickly debunked that as it was clear what his true intentions were with this PR stunt. 
and it was despite Sophie. I'm sure any responsible parent, even during a divorce, would put their children first, but I guess to Joe, getting back at his ex is more important than being a father who protects their kids and respects the mother of his kids' wishes. At number six, we have the lack of trust. I think most of us have heard the rumor circulating about the ring doorbell. Well, if you haven't heard of it yet, basically it has been said that Joe allegedly saw or heard Sophie do something on the ring camera that made him realize the relationship was not going to work out. The ring doorbell captures both audio and video footage that homeowners can view through an app. And first of all, Joe, why are you checking the ring footage? Many accuse Joseph of being a spy, especially because he's been with Sophie for four years. I'm sure they are able to trust each other. Right? Without trust, is there even a relationship? Many fans are jumping into the conversation by tweeting and making memes about the situation for what Joe potentially heard that caused him to call it quit. Some fans say Joe heard Sophie say that Nick was her favorite Jonas brother and Camp Rock was not her favorite movie and so much more. The memes have gone endless. In our number 5 spot we have his family pressures. Apparently Joe and his family have been putting the ladies against each other as they continue to compare them. And those ladies are nobody except of course the gorgeous Sophie Turner and Priyanka Chopra. Priyanka is the wife to Jonas' younger brother, Nick. And because it has been said that Priyanka and Nick are both on the same page when it comes to settling down and raising a family they built together, whereas Joe wants to settle down and Sophie wants to continue living her life, especially since she allegedly feels like she's missed out on her youthful years having fun and instead have been working since she was an early teen. Due to this, it has been said that Joe and his family have been constantly comparing Priyanka with Sophie, which I'm sure does not further help the situation. We also have to keep in mind Priyanka and Sophie are two different people, which is why it's pretty obvious they're going to want different things. Sophie did enter the spotlight at 14, which makes sense on why she feels like she missed out on her teenage and early adult years. I just think it's toxic to have your partner's family tell you who you should be more like. But also, why isn't Joe standing up for Sophie? And for number 4 we have the age gap. Although age gaps tend to be normal in relationships and aren't directly toxic, Joe did start seeing and dating Sophie when she was only 19 years old and he was 26. 7 years isn't too much of an age gap, however considering the fact Sophie was 19, she was honestly quite young. This alone may have not been toxic but the power imbalance can be inconsistent as Joe was almost in his late 20s and Sophie just became a legal adult. We often see age gap relationships in Hollywood and not all of the relationships end the same way Joe and Sophie's did. However, considering these two were apparently on different pages, it seems like the 7 year age gap started to affect them. Joe was ready to settle down with Sophie and there's two children but Sophie still wants to enjoy her 20s while she can. She did get engaged to Joe when she was 21, married to him by 23 and even had their first daughter by 24. Because we know all this, no wonder Sophie feels like she's been missing out on her younger years. She did start acting at 14 and I'm sure it's hard to live a quote unquote normal life when you are as famous as she is. Whether the age gap has anything to do with the downfall of their marriage, I personally think the fact that they both currently want different things is not further helping. And for number 3 we have the Jonas Injectables campaign. This one doesn't directly affect Sophie but it does tell us a little bit more about Joe. Back in 2022, Joe did a campaign with a seemingly positive message about loving yourself. The advertisement was called Beauty on Your Terms. It was a way to find an alternative to face changing surgeries and procedures that we see many in the show business. Get. This ad, however, was promoting an injectable solution which, which is the competitor for Botox in order to smoothen and hide fine lines and wrinkles. So the whole message surrounding feeling beautiful, boosting your self esteem and to fit into mainstream beauty standards all stem from this product you inject. Which can be a little contradicting especially because of the campaign Jonas started in centered around feeling good in your own skin. And hey, there's nothing wrong with doing whatever you want to your face but it is maybe not the best move for this campaign directly as it's takes away the message about feeling good being your own person and instead directing you into ways you can fit into Hollywood's obsession with staying young. Plus Joe has a pretty large fan base with some young fans and whether that's his responsibility or not that's up for discussion. And for number 2 we have the breakup right before their wedding. Yep, sounds pretty toxic to me. Well apparently right before the lovebirds decided to get married in 2019 they broke up for 24 hours due to both of them getting cold feet which apparently is normal right before for marriage as you are both about to make one of the biggest commitments of your life. But not only did Joe feel this way, Sophie felt the exact same way as well. 
Because of this, the two split for 24 hours before they quickly decided they could overcome their feelings of cold feet and did indeed want to get married. Although this is common, I think it could be a little toxic to jump straight into a breakup when they could have talked things out before concluding to the end of their relationship. I understand it can be difficult to act rationally in high stress or emotional times, but communication is key in a relationship. And I'm sure they could have both worked through whatever emotions both parties were feeling in order to make both of them feel secure and happy moving Moving forwards. In our number one spot, we have Sophie Turner's friendship with Joe Jonas's famous 12 time Grammy winning ex girlfriend, no one else but Taylor Swift. I'm not really sure if this is toxic for Sophie or if there's more warning flags on Joe for this one. I mean, Sophie has shown support for Taylor since 2021, showcasing her love for her music as she actively posts what she's listening to from Taylor's album. Furthermore, a song she has famously posted about in the past was Taylor's hit 2008 song, Mr. Perfectly Fine, which is speculated to be about Joe Jonas. We all know how Taylor and Joe's breakup didn't end with rainbows and sunshine, so it is interesting to see a friendship spark between these two ladies. Good for them though because Joe does have a reputation for blaming all his issues on the women in the relationship he's had in the past, so for these two girls being unproblematic towards each other even when Sophie was dating Joe, it makes me really happy for them. As Joe and Sophie navigate their new chapters with their children, we hope they can learn from these moments and build a more positive future. We wish them both the best in their separate journeys.